Greetings, this is LGR Plays Rad Rogers, a game that's not out yet at all. And that's why I'm doing a first impressions and not a review. This is not a review. <laughs> this will not be a review, dang it, okay? I know reviews is in my name, but uh, yeah, this doesn't mean it's a review. It's not. I'm just going to be taking a look at this early. Uh, this is still something that's in a Kickstarter project. I I'm not involved with that at all. I'm not getting paid. They I'm not even supporting the Kickstarter. I just wanted to take a look at this early because they asked me to and, you know, why not? I mean, it seems like an interesting thing to me because it's from 3D Realms, Interceptor Entertainment. And that's cool. Like, <laughs> I've just been a fan of uh, the company, at least. Maybe not these exact same people, but the company since ever, like, as long as I can remember. The very first games I ever played were Apogee 3D Realms platformers, so I just, I, pff, wow. Okay, so let's take a look at this. This is the Super Mega Ultra Early Build Enjoy face down here in the bottom left, so I'm sure there's going to be bugs and things that aren't quite right. I mean, <laughs> you know, they just aren't, but that's okay. It uses the Unreal Engine, so it's at least got a good base underneath. And, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and start it off. Wakey, wakey, sunshine! Hey, kid, I said wakey, wakey! It ain't polite to sleep during a cutscene. Huh? A cutscene, Dusty? You're alive? Whoa! What is this place? This is the first world, kiddo. Home to the Elder Tree. Thing is, she stopped taking my calls, and the kids have gone berserk. Let's go pay the old birch a visit, huh? Here, take this. Let's make it dangerous to go alone. Oh, yeah. This thing is huge. So tight. <laughs> Just how I like it. And that, my friend, is how you do a cutscene. Yay, overused retro game references and immature humor. That's what I like. Maybe. Not really. Uh, I'll deal with it. Because the rest of this game looks pretty sweet. You know, I mean, as far as the way it looks, it's platformer, and it looks nice. What could go wrong? Well, hopefully not much. I mean... It's a pretty basic platformer, to be honest. There's really not... I, see, I've already played through this a bit, you know, uh, before making this video, and, and there's really not a whole lot going on that makes me say, oh, wow, this is super unique. I will say that it's pretty decent for, for what it is. <laughs> it's just a platformer. No surprises, like, at all. And maybe that's the point of this. The only quote-unquote surprise is that... That it has frickin' lives? And I don't under- Oh, no! Okay, let's talk about lives systems in platformers that are not for the arcade. And so with the arcade, of course, the live system was implemented because of these games were made to munch quarters, money, whatever. It would give you a sense of urgency that you don't want to lose your quarter. And it also, of course, prevented people from playing the game too long so that you'd have other people that could, uh, you could get their money from them too as an arcade owner. And wow, this animation is making me freeze. Yeah, seriously, that, that animation of the key going in made the enemy just take away some of my life, which is something I'll get to here in a moment. But anyway, so quarters, they add a sense of urgency that with a home game, a computer game like this, that's just not an issue. A live system doesn't make it more urgent. It makes it more irritating if it's not done well. And lives can absolutely be done in a way that are satisfying and doesn't make the game feel cheap. You don't want an action platformer to feel cheap. You want it to feel fun to play and rewarding. And at this point, it just isn't quite there because of the way the live system and the difficulty aren't quite matching up for a couple of reasons. For one, look at the camera being so zoomed in here. Like, there we go. If I wasn't paying attention, that bug right there would have just hurt me without me knowing it. And that's happened many times. I've played this level like five times now. And uh, I keep forgetting about it because the camera's too zoomed in most of the time. Another reason that it's a problem is that the levels are really, really long in this case, sometimes 15, 20, 25 minutes. And that means that you're gonna have to go all the way back to the beginning, lose that much time from basically just the tiniest little mistake. And that is just not very fun to me anymore. 
Donkey Kong Country is a good example of a game that does it well because it gives you enough lives often enough and the levels are short enough with enough checkpoints that it makes it fun. Commander Keen 4 is another good example. You're constantly earning lives through those water droplets and the levels are short. However, Rad Rogers at this point does not fulfill any of that. Instead, they make me annoyed and not want to complete the game. Anyway, that's my rant on lives and platforming games. Let's move on. <laughs> because hey, look, you've got these cool sections here with your uh, John St. John robot. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah, it is John St. John who is voicing the robot companion. I Forgive me, I don't remember his name or anybody else's name. It's, just, it's, it's John St. Robot, that's all I know. So you sort of move around and you can beat up like protoplasms or something in here, I don't know. And you gotta punch flowers to turn into platforms that Rad Billy Blaze can uh, jump onto. I, I, I don't know any of the story because this version of the game doesn't tell you it at all. It just sort of tosses you in somewhere in the story. Yeah. As for the platforming itself, though, I, I mean, it's pretty freaking solid. That's another reason that I am so adamantly against the lives, because dang it, just give me the skill of this, like, awesome platforming. That's all I want. Like, I don't need stupid lives getting in the way. <laughs> I, I, you know, like, that's the fun, is the actual platforming and the shooting. Oh, crap. That hurt. Yeah, these, uh, I mean, these guns feel solid. It's got a, a nice lock-on mechanic. You hold down left trigger and it locks on to enemies. Like that right there, you see the arrow over it. There we go, it's locking onto them. That's awesome. The guns feel, have a nice punch to them. Nice sound effects, the animations are sweet. And it even has this sort of abuse-like system. Uh, not abuse. <laughs> like, it's abusing you, but abuse the PC game for DOS, Macintosh. Where, yeah, you can just aim anywhere nice and freely. I do think it plays better with a controller, but, uh... Still, I like that that's there. So, yeah, like, as far as the actual gameplay going on, I got no problems. This feels pretty good. Yeah, check it out. I mean, I'm, I'm platforming. <laughs> and I'm not, like, hating it. It's not that I hate platformers. In fact, I quite like a lot of them, but, uh... There's a lot of platformers that just don't do it for me these days. Firepower matters. Firepower matters. Yeah, there's a nice 3D Realms slogan for you. Oh, yeah, I mean, this just... It looks nice, too. This is a nice-looking game. I also like the fact that these floppy disks... Like, check this out. They make a sound. <laughs> uh, floppy drive reading sound effects need to be in more games for the saves. If you're going to use a floppy disk as your save like icon, you may as well go all the way. Oh, yeah. There is one slight thing I have that is a bit... Mm, I don't know, it doesn't quite work right when you're locking on to enemies. Sometimes when you're locking on, or maybe all the time, I'm not, I haven't really been able to tell yet. Yeah, see that, that time it worked. But sometimes when you're locking onto an enemy, it doesn't actually keep you facing the same direction as the enemy when you're moving the opposite direction. Like if you're walking backwards, I, I would like it to, you know, of course, stay locked onto the enemy so that I can sort of dodge while shooting, but uh, sometimes that doesn't work. I, I don't know if that's just... I mean, it's an early thing in the game, or an early version of it, so I, I'm kind of forgiving of some of this stuff. I don't know what this does. I guess I needed that. Hmm. Oh, there's a puzzle piece down there. I didn't get it. I do know I need that. Yeah! Puzzle piece. And a secret. Yay, secrets! This definitely hits some of the nostalgia buttons, other than the, um... Oh! What? Never mind, this hits all the wrong buttons, I hate it. 
Okay, maybe not. But I, as I was going to say, it does hit some of the nostalgia buttons as far as some of the old school style of, um, you know, Apache platformers, Epic Mega Games things. As far as finding secret places that it tells you are secret places and, you know, being able to see rooms through walls and stuff that, you know, it's like, oh, I know I can get there, but I just have to figure out how. And, you know, I like that stuff. I, I, I like that kind of platforming. And, you know, I like this kind of platforming, too. It's simple. It's fun. There's nothing terribly groundbreaking going on. Except for the lives. I don't really have a whole lot of complaints here. And some of some of the jumping is a little iffy. Like I think that it would help to have uh, some way to. I don't want to say the double jump because I think the double jump can be a crutch. But I do think that it would be nice. Like, see, for that situation right there, ugh. I would be it, like okay, grabbing onto ledges from Commander Keen four and five, and I guess you know six, of course, but. Super handy. I, I would like that to be an option. Maybe it is and I'm just not seeing it But I think grabbing onto ledges would be wonderful. You've got a backpack with super long arms. Why cannot? Why can't I grab onto ledges? I guess is my question <laughs> Gotta get some Sonic the Hedgehog ripoff stuff in here Slash Jazz Jackrabbit cuz why not in fact this bears a decent similarity to Jazz Jackrabbit the first one uh, you got the guns, you've got the, uh, you know, these things going on here. You've got the enemies that you shoot that are kind of cheap that come at you. <laughs> and you've got the camera that's too zoomed in. Now, granted, it does zoom out every so often. I, I would prefer it. I think I said to, um, to be zoomed out all the time. If I didn't say it before, I have said it now. I prefer a more zoomed out camera like this. This right here, this is good. Oh, that was a secret area. I thought I was just going to die like an idiot. Yeah. Awesome. This looks nice. I like this area in particular. I like the uh, the shadows on the water and whatnot. Ah, like, see that right there? Why can't I grab onto that ledge? Maybe that would make some of the- maybe the levels just aren't designed for ledge grabbing and that. It's understandable, but... Little things like that do go a long way in making a platformer accessible. Then again, in the true style of a lot of old-school platformers, if they're really going for that, they're not accessible at all. They're hard as balls. Monster Bash? That game is rough. I really like Monster Bash for what it is, but it's hard, man. It is a hard game. And it's weird because, you know, you expect something that looks kind of cutesy to not be so difficult, but... Yeah, it's just, it's... It's a welcome difficulty as long as it doesn't seem unfair. Oh! That's a satisfying gun. <laughs> 3.5-inch floppy. I don't know why I'm collecting these purple things. Do I even need them? I know I need the puzzle pieces, but the little tiny purple things that come out of enemies? I don't know why I'm collecting those. <laughs> Maybe I'll figure it out later. Here we go. Yeah! Yeah, when I'm actually not sucking, and, uh, the lives, I have, like, enough of them. Like, I still have one left, so that's... It's actually pretty fun. And the gore, like, nastiness going on. Mm. Again, maybe seems a little weird because it's so cutesy, but then again, it kind of works. Alright, what do I do here? Nice! I like secrets that it makes me think that I can get to it and I just have to take a leap of faith. Yeah, man. There we go. 
I mean, I like that even the kid's basic weapon still feels pretty freaking good to shoot. That was one thing I had with, like, Bombshell, which is what these guys made previously, and that game just, I did not like it very much. Um, <laughs> which was kind of interesting when they were like, oh, you know, we really want you to take a look at this. I'm like, all right, cool. But apparently they liked my feedback from Bombshell, so... Hopefully this will be uh, useful feedback as well. Oh, what is all this? What is all this? I'm not even sure what I need to do here. Come on, give me something to press Y on. There we go. I'm not entirely sold on these sections. <laughs> uh, you know, it's kind of nice to have one every so often, but I've had like three in a very short period of time. I'm with you, Dusty. Shut it. I'm trying to get there. This is hard work. Freaking kid. Get up, Dusty. Shut up. There we go. There, kid! You happy now? God! <laughs> See, at this point now, I'm just having fun with it because I know I'm getting closer to the end. I've gotten past the parts that I've screwed up on previously. This is like the fourth time trying to make this video. Um, so I just kind of don't care at that point because I know I had a checkpoint right here. But, I mean, look how long I've been playing this level. So if I lose this life, even if I'm having fun, I'm going to be screaming in rage <laughs> in like a minute if I were to die this far into the level because I would have to I would have to restart the entire thing 15 minutes ago I, I would be losing 15 minutes of time that I genuinely just do not have like that Well, that's all I'm going to show in this game. Okay. I can't stand when that happens. Uh, this is the what fourth or fifth time I've tried to record this, and I just... Okay, well, Brad Rogers, it's not a bad game, as far as I can tell at this point in time. Um, but I can't even get past the first level because of the stupid live system and my own incompetence. It's mostly my own incompetence. Let's go ahead and just give it that old excuse because I don't know, <laughs> you know. But that has got all these cool little touches, right? There's like a power glove on your robot guy and it's got cool music and it looks awesome and the platforming is solid. It's just, I hate the live system. It's the worst. I don't mind long levels if you don't have so few lives and you die so easily with the zoomed in camera and all the other little tiny unforgiving, unforgiving elements like not being able to grab onto things and no double jumping. So it does make it very challenging and there's no difficulty selection. As, at least at this point, there's none. I, I think maybe all I'm asking for is some sort of adjustment for difficulty for people like me <laughs> that suck, don't have much time, and just want to sit back and relax with a game that brings them some happy feelings. Because, man, this brings some happy feelings. It's just not there as far as um, the irritation level overcomes those feelings. So, hey, maybe maybe it'll uh, 
I don't know. We'll see what happens. Either way, the Kickstarter exists. <laughs> And if you want to go support it, go right ahead. If not, then you just be like me and wait for the full game to come out. I I just don't support Kickstarters anymore. Um, I've been burned by too many of them and, you know, whatever. That's just how it is. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. And thanks for 3D Realms sending me this key to take a look at something early, even though it's irritating. <laughs> because I just, I, it's not personally my kind of... Uh, thing with the lives. But there we go. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>